And this is actually the box. So it's a OBD2 plus GPS smart gauge model AP-6. If anybody wants to know. Two installation methods. You can even put it uh, upside down on the glass on your windshield. These are the technical parameters. Environment temperature. Uh, apparently turbo stuff. Humidity. Envir environment voice. Oh, you mean the sound of your uh, exhaust and stuff like that. Sound level, alarm stuff, voltage. Here you can see some uh, some stuff that you can see on the, on the meter itself, which I've toggled through. And um, yeah, with alarm ambient light, always show clock in the right corner, adjustable bracket, nine kinds display interface. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It also has a GPS built in, of course, and the uh, light sensor in the back, so uh, it should uh, dim down when um, when you're like driving through tunnels and stuff like that. This is the uh, the leaflet that comes or the instruction manual, and then you get this thing to uh, adjust the side with it, the the swivel. Apparently, there's some information on the plastic, and then you get this little piece to uh, open up the, the rubbers on the side of your door to get the cable uh, in between or behind there. Uh, that's about it, so it's a pretty uh, neat package. Um, the only thing that I have to complain about is that the, um, the thingamajiggy, the, the stickers are not working that well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's a pretty neat little device. So handy for future drifting, I hope. This is the meter right here. Um, it's a thing that I ordered from Amazon uh, one or two days ago. And I wanted to test it out because if I go drifting with this car, it would be nice to see your uh, water temps and your oil temps. Now, I've tried multiple plugs and meters and everything uh, until I eventually found this one and they have multiple versions of this one. Um, also varying in price, you know, one is 40 bucks, one is 100 bucks. So yeah, it really depends on um, what you think is gonna work. So I opted in for the a little bit more expensive one. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, you have multiple things that you can do, but let's focus right now on the oil temp that I put in there myself manually. And I think the other one is the water temp as far as I know. So what we can do right now is we're behind this dashboard right here uh, this car has run 285,000 kilometers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this button right here which is gonna turn up the um, the little display right there I just have to switch hands um, so let's hold the button for a very long time until it gives us the menu it should give us the menu there you go okay so identification system test test and unlock that's the one that we need I think it might be 21 um, because you have to put in the last five numbers and add them up thought I heard somebody say the last two numbers but I think it's the five okay let's hold it on 21 boom there you go okay so now we have the extra menu which is consumption range <coughs> tank temperature temperature is the one we need Speedo rev, system voltage, acoustics, error codes, dimming LCD, CBS check, correction factor, software reset. Oh my God, that's a lot of menu. Okay, so we're gonna go into temperature. Hold the button. Okay, so this is good. I hope you guys can see this. It says oil temperature, raw data. Plus minus 1.5 degrees. No, I don't think that's, no, it's oil temp. Okay, good. So this is very nice to see. The coolant temp is on 72 degrees. However, the oil temp is on 51. Now, as you can see, this meter is correct regarding the coolant temp. The coolant temp indeed is 72 degrees. However, it's a little bit higher on the oil temp. Might be because it picks up something somewhere else from the OBD2 port. I don't know. I'd rather have it a little bit higher on this meter because that means that if I ever uh, go drifting, um, you know, 
I can just check it out through this uh, this thing right here. I also wanted to see boost. I also actually wanted to see oil pressure. So people are asking me in the comments right now or thinking this up in the video. Why are you not using this menu when you go drifting and you buy something from like a 100 euro and put it on your dash which looks ugly. I don't always want to go into this menu and just keep fumbling around with that. I do want to see everything else that's normally displayed on there and I do want to have a um, normal meter here that I can just plug into the OBD2 and check out. So again, it just went up with the, uh, the coolant. It's 73, which is perfect. So this is an accurate reading regarding coolant level, or I mean the coolant temperature. The only thing that's a little bit weird is the oil temp. So the oil temp is like 10, like 15 degrees difference. But you know, it's good to know. I'm really happy with this because that means I can uh, leave this meter in. I just have to uh, fix a better position for it. But this way we know how it works and it works very well. So yeah, of course, again, I can showcase you guys this. There's a lot more that you can do. Um, wait, is it this? Yeah, there you can change stuff. If you press the OK button, it's going to do this, RPMs, again, 74 degrees, that's coolant temp. You can do this regarding turbo, I don't know if it's going to pick up the turbo. It does a little bit, I just revved it to like uh, 1500, turbo comes on around like 2.5, 3. Um, yeah, you can put in the time as well, which is pretty cool, this even says west. As far as I know, yeah, turbo again, stuff like that. It has a cool little features, RPMs, fuel, 9.3. I don't know if I still have 9.3. Oh, that's what I do around 100 kilometers, okay. Voltage, mileage, direction west, coolant still, 75. You can change stuff, can you? Yeah, see, you can change stuff, which is really cool. Voltage, fuel, turbo, RPM. Oh, those are the only ones that you can change? Okay, let's say we want voltage to change. Fuel, turbo, drive time, GPS, altitude, oil temp, there you go. We can put that in as well. Okay, so you cycle through those things, you don't have to press the OK button because if you do press the OK button, it's gonna go past to another thing. So you just leave it. Um, acceleration, yeah, acceleration. Um, brake test. There we have PIDs, DTC status, fuel system, engine load, coolant temp. Yeah, again, really cool stuff. So it's you can put in these things that you wanted. That's why I said I have the, the turbo right here. But I actually want to keep it on the... Um, no, 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 no. Damn it, now I have to scroll through this again. This is turbo. Altitude, this is oil temp again. Let's leave it at that. Okay, it's gonna blink and then stop. Yeah, there you go. It saved it. So what I can do actually is go towards a boost meter. Scan, is this the boost? It says turbo. I think this is the boost for the turbo stuff. But then it doesn't tell me if I can, no, I can't change anything on that. So that sucks. I actually wanted to have like a boost gauge and then have some stuff right next to it. But I think this is fine too, you know, regarding temps. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like this meter, this gauge. Um, we'll have to see how we can build it in better into the car and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'll keep you guys posted. Please leave a like and subscribe to this video and let me know if there's anything else you want me to test. Peace.